Or to the righties using the change up against the left-handed batter. The golf shot right field. Perez scrambling back to make the catch. Come on, carried a little more than he thought it would, didn't it? <laughs> you know that feeling. That's don't the beauty you? of the outfield. You got a little more time to adjust if you did Our get ball, a battery. Some guys don't like to go back on the ball as much. This will land. It's a base hit for Michael Massey, and he's going to go for second. He is in there with a double. He read that right out of the box. And and turned it in. So he's got to throw across his body. Wouldn't get it off quickly, get it in quickly, or if he, that is a baseball culture. One, two coming. Over first into right. Base hit for Fermin. And here comes Massey to score. Kansas it's limit City the damage score. on him. He got Hampson to ground into a 5-3 bounce out last time. And here he does the same for out number two. It, it looked like Fermin recognized starting that starting to fatigue a little bit. Signs of fatigue. This is... He's over the mound. He didn't have to gather it because Kreidler was there to retire this side. That's seven complete for Montero. It's hard to finally get him to be an extrovert. That's off of Lugo to second base, and Massey throws to first to get the out. Good to Lugo see he's all right. But you can definitely see. He also, we talked about this last. There. Yeah. That is a swing and a miss for strike three. It's the third strikeout for Lugo, and it's completed. Ball travel. If he beats you with a fastball, so be it. Round ball, round brat. Sometimes you're going to have a plan and try to execute. Grounded to third. Couple of hops. Michael Garcia. That's a one, two, three inning for Lugo. And Fedorovich after three outings. And running up there 95 mile an hour. The strikeout rate's been great in AAA this year. Done surgery just three years ago. He never the trade of Andrew Chafin. Start seeing those type of numbers, you say, okay, here's a guy. That'll play. Into right, Wenzel Perez makes the catch. Now a message from MGM Grand. We always appreciate the people's to going around riding that. Uh, the merry-go-round. Um, oh, boy, that ball's drilled to left field. McKinstry is back at the wall, and that's gone. Paper scissors with Pasquantino. Who was down? Don't nope. play him in ping pong. Darts. Nope. Hey, he's got a high ceiling, but is he going to develop? That ball's mashed to right field. Vinny Pasquantino has his second home run of the day. If you catch it out in front a little further than you would the heat. So he obviously didn't lose. I just read lips and nothing. Right field side. Perez back at the track, and he reaches back to make the play. Well, they tend to pitch lefties similar. Right, right. So Prince Fielder, and then uh, me. It's a fastball coming. I don't need it. That's a foul ball. Here, what did you see from him last time you faced him? It's a base hit for center field. Hunter Renfro has his first hit tonight. And here comes A.J. Hinch. Come up. Sometimes they try to do too much. Mm -hmm. What's going to make it a good pitch? To shortstop, Kreidler has a play at second and got him. Let's see if Kansas City wants to challenge. It was a close play. 91 pitches so far today. The White Sox. Change up last time. Bullpen. In front of something 3 1 here. To third, that's Garcia from off the ground throwing it first. <laughs> That changeup was creeping in. The he got inside on Belade there, who pumps it into left field. Hampson on the move to the corner, and he's going to run. Let's give you the ones, the good ones for free. Yeah. The ground ball to second base and Massey. But but to that point though, sunglasses don't fix everything out there in, in the Minnesota, outfield. Minnesota, you're like, I don't know where. The, why is this when you're in the outfield? I know that's not true. <laughs> I read when I was a kid in science class. You're just inviting it from fans, by the way, when you keep changing the location for your sunglasses. Like, <laughs> doesn't he know that there's sun out? Yeah. Which person? Uh, and you were eating wings. To a, to a degree. Literally. Down the right field line and foul strike one. Ryan Vol Had a short conversation before all that when 
now they're playing six game series against the same team but you travel twice a week as Hampson is out on a bus in the peak. if you can't sleep on a bus man you're gonna be tired deep like rim rem sleep oh that hits Isbell and he'll be on and we've had well uh is that ball is sliced to left field Valade on the run and he does get there for route number two uh, I just saw a tweet from Emily Walden that said Max Clark has his four when you come in off the bench is that a, but when you get out on the field you got to be ready to go that's a hit to right for Bobby Witt Jr. and he wants two bases he is in there throw coming to the plate on Isbell and he is safe run number seven for the family for sitting in in my seats is that right that's awesome yes in the air left field side belayed in foul territory makes the catch and like four teams will pick you up Colt getting another lefty lefty at bat and he bat you're running out of inches there it was again yeah and that's where you know you're like man I would need about a 48 inch bat instead of this 30 what happens these guys start guessing and pitchers can see that yeah, right, that I you're mean, guessing. Yep, and that's why the best approach is still be ready for the fastball, adjust to off speed. Andy Ibanya has a pinch hit chance. Left on right. There goes Wenzel. He's going to take second base on indifference. Baseball is still the only game that <laughs> records apathy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and sometimes guys, it'll take them like three or four pitches to get over there. I'm like, the first baseman's nowhere even close. Go. Popped up. Left side of the infield. Bobby Witt Jr. makes a catch. And Kansas City, three batters into this.